Here is a very interesting problem. We need to sketch a function from given conditions. Okay. The problem says sketch a function which does not contradict the characteristics listed below. Okay. First one is it's an even function. f of 2 equals to 7 and f of minus 6 is 3. No y intercepts. Zeros at minus 4 and at minus 8. Increasing on the intervals of minus infinity to minus 6, minus 6 to minus 2, and from 0 to 2. As x approaches infinity, y approaches minus 2, and as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches minus 2. Okay, so even function means so whatever is there on the left side is also there on the right side. Okay, so first we can plot these points so f of 2 is 7 let's say this is our coordinate system and here it is 0 for us and let's say that this is minus 1 for us right and this is our coordinate plus minus 1 and f of 2 is 7 that means at 2 we have 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have a point here okay now, since this is an even function, we should also mark a point here. That's very important because it's an even function, right? Now, f of minus 6 is 3. So, minus 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The function value is 3. 1, 2, 3, right? Since it is even function, we should have here also, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. So, that's also a point given to us no y-intercept, so we are not going to cross this line y-axis, zeros at minus 4 and minus 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so zeros are here, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 8, so same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, correct, so these are our zeros, right, now, okay, and we have increasing on the interval of minus infinity to minus 6. That means this is, let's do some rough work here, right? This is minus 6 for us, correct? Now here, this is minus 6 for us. So it is increasing like, it's increasing here, okay? And again from minus 6 to minus 2. So minus 2 is here, that point, correct? So it is increasing here also. So if we see from some even symmetry point of view, it should be increasing here also, right? So minus 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the function has to be symmetrical, right? So it's just going up like this, so it should be going like this in this direction, correct? In this region, correct? Like this it should be. That's how the shape of the function should be, correct? Now, then we have, as x approaches plus infinity, y approaches minus 2. That's a horizontal asymptote at minus 2. So 1, 2, right? We have a horizontal asymptote as x approaches plus infinity and also as x approaches minus infinity. So we have a horizontal asymptote here, okay? So ultimately, that's our horizontal asymptote. Now, we need to figure out how to do it since... Now, let's go from left to right so it is increasing here that means and we have a horizontal asymptote here that means we should be approaching this horizontal asymptote let me extend this line to some extent here so we should be approaching this line and we can go straight correct but well, we need to come back here but we can't because we are actually increasing this region correct so what we can do is we can just break at this point right and then start from somewhere and then go up like this, correct? That could be possibility because to reach from here to here, we have to decrease, but then the function is increasing. So while well, this part seems to be okay, we can go up here like this, but then how to connect this point, that becomes a huge problem. Okay, and we are increasing from here to there, that means we should start from bottom. We could have a discontinuity here, right? This value is there, but we... Okay, so what we can do here is, let's say we make a graph like this. And this is like approaching minus 2. So we have joined these two points, but here we'll assume that there's a discontinuity, 
and we again start like this and we can actually increase up to this point it doesn't say what happens here so here we can decrease also or increase or whatever correct so so well and on this side we can increase and go to this point correct so and we let's say this is the hole and then we start like this and we can increase right kind of increasing right so we can increase this side now well similarly we can actually draw this later but now let's figure out how to cross this well we don't have any y intercept <coughs> so plus we can decrease here also we could go up and go like this that's okay so we have already covered those x and y intercepts and no y intercept no y intercept means that actually we could actually have a hole there or a vertical asymptote also right yeah so let's assume that we are increasing up to here and then what we can do is we can actually come back from here and let's have a hole here right so if we have a hole here then we are we don't have any y intercept correct so i think that satisfies the left part of the graph and here we can make a symmetrical view right so we can have similarly we can have something here going like this correct this is going to the horizontal asymptote and it can be connected with this correct and we assumed a starting point here at minus 6 so we'll go with that minus 6 point and uh, we can go like this kind of connected as we did on that side to make it symmetrical right and then we can come back and here have like this for a hole so that graph actually satisfies what the given conditions are and uh, that could be a possible solution for this okay now the important things here which we consider is horizontal asymptotes were very clear so we can say this this is like y equals to minus 2 is our horizontal asymptote and uh, these are our points right so we have at uh, 2 we have 7 so this is our point 2 let's say minus 2 and 2 right 2 yeah so at 2 and this is minus 2 for us this is minus 4 for us this is minus 6 this is minus 8 for us we have 4 6 and 8 right and those are our points correct so they all are joined together and it works fine for us and that's my y equals to minus 2 as a horizontal asymptote I hope you understand things which helped us to make this characteristic is this increasing decreasing right so we are given increasing intervals and we assume this could be decreasing and because of the even function we took points symmetrical on both the sides uh, that helped us to make the graph but otherwise it's a very tricky problem to do I hope once you have a good look at it you can solve similar questions thank you